Oh shit, that's right. Jishishi's the uh, first guy here. Jishishi is one of those uh, a dude I met at Combo Breaker. He's just a crazy nice guy. But also, he's the guy who's he's uh, he's the guy who reps Akatsuki for me. That dude is so sick. Uh, but then we got Red Blade on the side, and Red Blade, like everybody coming into this tournament, everybody said that Red Blade was probably the favorite to win it. He was looking really good. Wagner was on point, so we'll see. Woo, look at that. Hold on. Uh all right. Damn, I think he had to, I think I think Jishichi just had a hard read on him just wanting to back up install. Just like knowing because these guys play against each other so much at this point. They all go to the same tournaments. He just had a good read. There you go. Keep her from installing. That's the name of the game for Akatsuki. Keep her, keep her from installing. You can get these little block strings, but as long as you don't get installed on, then you're good. Wow, he doesn't go for it. That's wild. Yeah, now we're now we're in now we're in a bad situation. Yeah, two two B. Very nice. All right. So two two C. So you don't know, 2 c uh, Flame Pillar, he ends it with, uh, he ends the combo with that so he can get both installs at the same time. Normally you would only be able to get one install and the Oki becomes a little bit uh, worse. But he goes for damage, uh, a little bit more damage on the combo, and then he gets for 2 c Pillar, right? He gets both installs, which means the next mix-up is probably going to hurt like hell if he, after he gets hit. So he does 2-2-B, two, two does DP, and then he has Chain Shift already from uh, from the last Vorpal cycle. He's going to give a Vorpal on this one, but he doesn't have to deal with uh, in that situation, which is really good. I jump A, Chain Shift. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this either. Like he was just he was just concentrating. I don't know. I just feel like you can take space because now you're in the corner. I mean, you're gonna be in the corner anyway, but I don't know. Yeah, good use of chain shift there. I guess in the end, right? This whole this whole bit of him charging or uh, concentrating. Is he actually not going to be able to get enough? Okay, so then he gets it. All right. So, yeah, actually, all that concentration gave him the ability to chain shift. And chain shift is super important for him in this matchup. Actually, just for Akatsuki in general, it just gives him the ability to play a little bit more freely. But, like, chain shift in this matchup is especially because her pressure is insane. So, when her pressure is insane like that, it really helps to have chain shift. So, you can do chain shift force function and then get out of situations like that. And then he goes for the minimal damage, but he goes for the side switch, right? Nice block. Does he try to win Vorpal here? Eh, I don't know. Maybe. It's a little bit too early to try to win it. Or try to force it, anyway. He could have backed up a little bit, but the thing is that, like, v this is, like, the problem with playing against Wagner. She has, like, 200 meter right now. This is just asking to get, like... This is actually just asking you to get shield skills into pillar. You just run in, unblock, 2-2-C, two, two get both, plus 9, run in, do a mix-up, right? Alright, shield buff install. He's thinking about that. Oh my god. That was so sick. So he was faking he was faking uh B Tatsu here. So what normally like a little simple mix up is that you do either A Tatsu or B Tatsu. And you hopefully you get people to flinch on A Tatsu because they're like expecting the other two hits. 
Um, but so Jishishi was trying to get cheeky and trying to extend his pressure. Yeah, that's rough. So you're like, all right, let me stand up now. But then because you're already standing up, you get hit by the two AB, which is a low, and you're like, oh no, I got hit. Yeah. The tax I totally forget about two AB. Stomp's not something you see all that often. Then if it's like a partial charge, it's still low, you can still like charge block. Right. So you're basically like option selecting the late overhead versus mid low. Um, it's very hard to do that though. Well, I, I mean, people do it, but that's definitely a good example of something that. Yeah, you see, GGG actually. Ran in front at the same time, trying to hopefully that he was going to do the same thing as before. Overhead. Oh, this is not good. Not good. He has both charges. Yeah. Oh. Both charges again. And on top of which, her her. Her charged up blade at the same time does chip. So, like, you look at, like, the chip he's also eating on the way as well, like, in the last five seconds. Just all just little hits like that. It sucks. Ooh, pick up. Very nice. Nobody what he was trying to do here. He dropped the combo. That was probably... These two were probably on accident. Nice. Put the grips on. Wait, what happened to his chain shift? I missed that. I was wondering, because it was like in this situation, right? So, Red Blade wins, Vorpal. Oh, he chain shifts right there. My bad. All right, I missed that. I was like wondering, it's like, why is he going through this whole thing without chain shift? Nice. I like this. Bitatsu. This is such a... This is like the best win condition you could possibly have for Jishichi. Oh, <laughs> empty low. I can't believe he didn't do anything. <gasps> no, he dropped it. Ah, fuck. He does have chain shifts. So that was actually a really interesting sequence right here, right? So uh, Red Blade ends his combo with Veil Off. Because like you were saying, like uh, what Fox was saying a second ago, like uh, it's not that bad of a situation for Jishichi because he has a healthy life lead. He has, over, he has 150 meter and he has chain shift, right? So what Red Blade does is like, oh, he has chain shift? Well, let me, uh, let me strip you of that real quick. You don't need it. You don't need it. Because he wants to be able to, like, run him over, right? And he knows that if he can find the hit afterwards in this situation, that he'll be able to win the next Vorpal cycle after this. And you can see right here, he's already winning the Grid War. So this makes sense from him, and he's has the opportunity to possibly get the kill when he's veiled off. But my man doesn't care. Very nice. Yeah, that's so. Oof. Yeah, he would have just done uh two two a into quarter uh quarter forward c, which would have been the ex fireballs, and then he would have been safe. So he just like took a took a risk there, but it was like pretty pretty safe risk, all things considered. Starts off with a super. Oh, yeah. That was asking for a lot of respect from Red Blade. This is not good. 
Gets a shield buff because he's trying to run in. Yes. Does he have both buffs now? I think he has both buffs now. What was that veil off? Was he trying to do the same thing? Oh, was he guard crushed? I didn't know the throw uh, or grid break to him. Man, I am not. My brain is not ready today. Yeah, he got grid broken here. Yeah, that's not good. So that's why he tried to veil off. He tried to veil off so that he could get his grid back. How's it going, CPT? Hope you're doing well, man. Yeah, he tried to veil off so that he could possibly uh, take him out of the veil or the grid game and then take his veil back or uh, grid back. But that was just a good read from from Redblade at this point, right? Block string. Eh, maybe. I don't know. I feel like at this point, like, Jishichi probably should have just recognized he's too far. Or maybe expected shield bash here. I don't know. But either way, that's still a risk. Especially when you have this advantage of a si advantageous of a situation when you're red blade. Like, you get to here, right? You get to here, and you think about the situation. You just got Vorpal. You have a healthy life lead. You have over 100 meter. The opponent's grid broken. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Red Blade's really fucking good. 